Hello, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is floss tube number 108. It is September 24th, 2023. And this is a channel about cross stitch, my website, animals, always animals. Got a house full of them. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's just start off with the giveaway. I have a lot to go over. It's been a month and four days <laughs> since my last floss tube. I'm trying to do a monthly. I didn't miss it by too much. Um, I have a lot of crap, man. A uh, lot of, lot, lot of haul, which I've, my haul's been down and uh, I've made up for it. So, all right, let's start off with the giveaway. Um, I went into the comment picker and now they want to charge you $7 a month if you want to use a specific keyword. Lovely. So I had to find another one. <laughs> so it may take me a second. Um, and I don't know if it does a cute little animation or not, but um, I had four patterns that I was giving away. And um, if you win, my email is in the show notes. It's just bobby at pumpkincreekprimitives.com. Um, even if you've ordered from me, just shoot me an email with your address so I can make sure I've got the correct address because, you know, addresses change. So the first one was Country Cottage Needleworks. Let us adore him. Super cute. Um, okay, and 11 people put number one down. So let's pick a winner. It does not do the cute little, it just, boom, tells you. Um, <laughs> Kim A. Um, and this is, she has a Lego comment. So Kim A, this is yours. Let me find the pen. Like I said, I am surrounded. And I just pray, pray, pray that Arlo doesn't decide he wants to visit us today as much as I love his little butt and he actually like got in my lap today. So me and my husband obviously think it's now the end of the world. Um, he, neither one of my cats, as social as they are and wanna be near me constantly, they're not lap cats. I, it's weird. Oh, my. Oh, 
Oh, that was like gonna go tuck behind the ear. What? What is that? Okay. All right. Um. Now let's see. If I can, how do I? This is awesome. Now it says it loaded 10 comments. I didn't. Eh. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, got issues. Sorry. I just didn't want to play around with it. Okay. I don't. I don't know what it's doing. Paste. Fetch. Keyword. I'm gonna have to go back from the start every time because it won't let you change it. Um, continue. Eight comments for number two, which was Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice by Artith Design. Pick a winner, Susan Bassano. Sue, so, all right, that is yours, my friend. Um, I, it literally makes me just like go back. This is ridiculous. I'll have to find a better way, but I don't do enough giveaways to, no offense, to do $7 a month. $7 for a year, you. Yeah. Keyword. Number three. And number three was HF1916 sampler. Beautiful red sampler. Eight comments for that one. Didn't write, didn't write your name down, Sue. Pick a winner out of the eight. Nanette is Miss Nanette. You are the proud winner of this red sampler. All right, and let me write down that. I really wish there was a way to where it would let you go back. Because every time I have to go, I have to paste the link to the video, fetch, keyword, for, continue, eight comments for, this is by um, Rami Designs, this is in the mood for cross stitch. And this was part of their, um, oh, the Moo the, Moo the Marrier from, was it 2022 20, Market? Yeah. Okay, pick a winner. Valerie Bolin? Valerie? Am I saying that right? Valerie? I want to call you Valerie. Valerie, maybe. Yes, Valerie. Is that how you spell Valerie? I think I'm always used to it with an I, A. All right. Those are the winners. Woo okay. This can now take a hike somewhere along with those. Maybe. Once I get them in order. All right. I was really loud. Okay. Giveaway. Done. All right. Shop news. So I'm, this may be, um, I have a little bit of announcement and it may be way too early to announce, but cause it may not even happen, but it's fine. I say I'm doing things on here all the time that I don't ever do, so I don't know why I'm worried. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Uh, lots of plans are made. <laughs> lots of things are just, and I think some of them I just completely forget. Um, sad. Um, 
Okay, so there is currently a sale going on in my shop. It's 15% off on three different designers. I don't remember them. I mean, oh gosh, now I gotta go through Rock City. Oh, and I totally forgot that even happened. That's not even on my list to talk about. <sighs> I'm gonna have to learn to like go through my photos. Okay, it is Erica Michaels, Rami's Creations, and Hello from Liz Matthews are the September 15% off those designer patterns. So if you put those in your cart, you don't need a coupon. Um, www.pumpkincreekprimitives. I almost said pumpkin spice. <laughs> Pumpkincreekprimitives.com. Okay. That being said. Um, okay. Yeah, I talked about the Legos. I got some, I don't even think I got pictures. No, I got a few pictures of some stuff that I did with my Legos. I didn't even put that on here. I mean, talk about Legos. Uh, okay. Anywho, so in October, there will be a different sale. Um, I think it's going to be, since it is my favorite month, um, it will be on all patterns, not just specific designers, and it will be substantially more than 15%. So look for that, which reminds me, because August 1st, I believe, is Sunday, so therefore, I've got to make that thumbnail this week. Okay. Um, all right. So, got some more Be Stitch Me colors in. I got some more common. Um, this is Stonehenge. I wanted to show it in, this is Ada, which you can't hardly tell, but I don't want to take it out of the bag. Ada. And this is the linen. I'm sorry, there's a glare. It's got really great modeling on that. So I've got those, that color in. And then I got Mummy in, and here's Mummy on Ada. And Mummy on linen. And Mummy is fabulous. And I have these in the linen, same for Stonehenge. I've got 32 count and 36 count linen. And then in Ada, I think I got 14, 16, and 18. So, check it out. Okay, so that is, well, I've got one more. Let's, we'll just use this to cross into haul. So, I've got one haul, but I also have it in my shop. Um... And that is the Tiny Modernist, the Queen, the Bee Queen. Um, I am totally going to stitch her. She's fabulous. I love all the mushrooms. And I'm a daisy girl. And I'm a bee girl. So there you go. <laughs> Does anybody remember that song? Bee Girl. Isn't it Bee Girl? B stands for Yep, okay. Is that a thing? Did I just make that up? Anyways, I do have this in the shop. <laughs> and I am going to stitch that. I'm Googling now. I mean, it may be completely, oh, was a thing. I'll probably get copyrighted. Crap. Yeah. You should look it up. Young and Restless. B-Girls. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get a copyright. <sighs> I knew that was something tickling back here. It's remembered. Um, or maybe it was tickling up here. I don't know. But, um, yeah. That's an oldie but goodie. <laughs> okay. My haul is a little ridiculous. And actually, it's a lot of it's patterns. I don't know what happened. Um, let me start off with... Uh, 
All right, let's just get into patterns. So I got the Prim Primrose Cottage Stitches Honey Bee Quaker because how can you not? Oh my God, I love this so much. So much. Speaking to me. And then I got Hands on Design Blueberry. And I love it. Love it. And I think I have the strawberry one too. And then I got the Blue Flower, Flower Spooky Autumn Smalls. Um, Cause I thought, depending on the size of that creepy moth, he may go, it may go in my journal. So I think, maybe I did look, oh, so sorry what size they are. And then I got Autumn Bee by the Blue Flower because I love all the bees. Um, and that one's gorgeous. And then I got, this is by um, Yasmin's Made with Love. And I don't think I've ever gotten anything. And I mean, I couldn't help myself. Look at this. And that fabric, oh, is to die for to die for it's on um oh it's purple potion by fabric flare nice nice it's gorgeous and then i went ahead and got my christmas ornament book i was gonna go through here and mark some stuff which i'm always like not super stoked um on christmas but i buy it anyways but there's a couple in here I don't have a plain piece of paper. <laughs> Those cats crack me up. I love it. I love it. It's worth it for that for me. Um, I'm trying to know if there's anything else. Let me just go to the back where they have them all listed. Wherever that's at. I thought they had, is it not in the back? Is it in the front? Am I making that up? Oh, it's in the front. Just kidding. I just feel like there was something else that I thought was really cute. Um, but yeah, there's a couple that are, that are cute. And then I like this one that's, uh, Sorry. I like that one a lot. It's just festive. So, yeah. There's a few things in there. Put on top of my Halloween one. <laughs> just a pile over there. Um, and then this bothy thread situation. I got more and some of them are not. I got another one that's the cut in half thing, but they, so our house is industrial farmhouse is what I call it. It's very farmhouse, um, but yet we have concrete countertops. Um, so it gives it, and then like most of our lighting are like Edison bulbs and stuff like that. So it gives it a little bit of a, a, a industrial feel, but then everything's lots of rich woods, uh, lots of barn wood. Um, shiplap, you know, all the things. <laughs> so, um, it's very country and, um, especially our living room and our kitchen area. Cause we have lots of like fresh egg signs and, you know, pig things. And, um, so I got these because first of all, the speckled, um, fabric is everything with this stitch, but this wild hair lady cracks me up. And she is, she's called Curious Hen. And she looks curious. And it's a kit. Um, and then this little guy, he look, he look, <laughs> he look a little dirty. Um, his name's covered up. I can't see what the name is on the back. Is it on the front? Oh, it's Truffles and Trotter. Trotters. Um. He's so stinking cute. And he's on the same fabric. 
I don't know how big these things are going to be. They're probably huge. Anybody know centimeters? <laughs> it's 26 by 26. I have no idea how big that is. But comes with a kit. And then we got Milk Maid. Again, same fabric. I'm in love. I'm in love. I don't know when these will ever get done. But I'm in love. Okay. So the other, uh, I don't know what they're calling them. Cut throughs. That's what it is. So another cut through design. I have the haunted house. I think is the one I have, um, which it came in a bag like, like this. Um, they've got new, um, packaging that they're doing to keep down on plastic, which is really awesome. Um, but I got the cut through cat cottage. And I'm going to hold this here for a while while I talk because there's so much to see and look at. Um, and I'm looking at it in the screen so it may, you know, take me a, a second to make out what some of the stuff is. But um, we got a cat up in the tree with an owl. And then we've got a cat with a fiddle on the roof. Um, and you got cats. I, can't, I think they're in a bed can't tell them there's a fat cat it's got a bunch of prizes next to him and then there's two mice in the bathtub which is hilarious and um got all kinds of stuff buried and then there's a cat uh topiary over on the left yeah there's a ton of stuff <laughs> it's so stinking cute <laughs> i love it but it's a kit Comes with everything that you need. Okay, and then I got some um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy patterns that'll go perfect in my um, Stitchy notebook that I'm doing, which to remind those of you, that's my Stitchy notebook. Uh, there's nothing in the pages yet, although I do have some finishes that will go in there. Um, so I got the uh chupacabra which is so cute i got the squatch and i got the jackalope so those are super cute so those will be perfect to go into my little stitchy journal and i'm sure that's why she um design them is because she's that's what she's doing i got the idea from her okay so the next it's a set of 12 patterns and this is athena um stitching goddess design it's her fault she is stitching on i think she's four patterns in um there's no way i'm ever going to catch up with her because i don't know when i'm going to start it but it's the sleep or excuse me spooky hollow um series it's by the little stitch girl and we have the bed and breakfast. And I will do these on one. We have the coffee shop. The dance hall. The coffin shop. And this is what Athena is working on. We have the pumpkin park. I wonder if I could change park to say creek where it just says pumpkin creek. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's my road and the creek out in our front of our yard. Um, library. Um, sweet shops. The cemetery. Which is awesome. The barber shop. Boutique. Which is super cute. The schoolhouse, or it could be a ghoul house. And the stitchery. Super cute. Yep, I think it's fault. Those are balanced. Okay, and then I got my Forbidden Fiber Co. My Kaleidoscope Thread Club. And this is a monthly club, and they're limited edition. And they are, um, it says on here, hold on, 15, approximately 15 yards. 
um, which I am actually using one of these in one of my patterns. It was a spur of the moment thing today. So you will get to see that. Um, these are, oh my God, this is like the most perfect deep rust color ever. Oh, it's gorgeous. This one's a lot, little smoky browns and blacks in there. Looks like a mixture of, um, um, Carriage Black by Gast and um, Black Coffee by Classic Color Works. Because the, the coffee, or is it just coffee? And it's brown, whatever it is. You would think it, but it's like those two kind of blended. Because the tips there, we get we start getting into like Carriage Black down there. Which is my favorite, Gast. <laughs> um, this is Cotton Candy, 100%. Look at that, so pretty. And this is definitely some patina. I'm digging this patina look with the rust. Love it, oh, so good. It'd be really good on a steampunk type, something, another. And then a really beautiful variegated green. So pretty. I'm gonna go put those on the my big, um, I have one of those big binder, uh, three ring, but it's not three ring, but it's a ring. It's like that big. I put those on. Um, okay, we're still working on haul. Okay, so I have my um, Be Stitch Me fabric of the month, and I'm part of the color club and the neutral club. And Lunar, mine's 18 count, and I'm sure this is the neutral part. It is a beautiful gray. Oh, it's luscious. Luscious. And then Luna Moth. That is very pretty. That is very pretty. I see this being a winter. I would use this for winter. Something winter. Okay. Then I did a little um, fabric shopping on Forbidden Fiber Co. <laughs> Um, she got some new colors and this one's eerie and I got 18 count. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm excited. Sorry, it takes me just a second to fold it up nicely. And put it back. My stomach's talking smack right now. It's like, feed me. I don't think this wants to go back in this bag. Which then makes me think maybe I should not. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do you think it hates me? No problem. I just had to put it on like a glove. I just had to, <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> Shove it in there. Perfection. Okay, and then I got Supernatural, which I've got another piece of this. Um, I'll just pull it up a little bit. That I haven't used anything on, and I, I, it's so gorgeous. Like, I don't want to use anything on it. So, like, I had to buy more just because if I have two pieces of it, I'm more likely to use it. I know. It's, a prob it's problematic. Um, and that was also a fat quarter. Then I got an eighth of a yard of um, Delactica. I don't. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and it was just like a really good, pretty neutral. And it showing like it looks a little yellowy in there but it's it's not it's more tansies it's a little yellow in there but I get back in the bag so I got a little eighth cut of that and I feel like I got an eighth I wonder if it they didn't have it or if I had something a project in mind maybe and that's where we're at 
Okay. I also went to Yarn Tree and got me um, some 18 count black. Because um, instead of the chart, the, I got chalkboard. But it's in 14 count. Everything I have is 14 count chalkboard. So this is for my um, stuff on my stitchy journal. If I want it on black. And then went ahead and got me another yard of 18 count easy grid. For um, full coverage. Okay, then I got a shirt for Miss Athena, where I am part of the Sloth Cross Stitch team. <laughs> we'll stitch it when we stitch it. This is 100% me. And what size did I order? Oh. So maybe I am that big. <laughs> I held it up and was like, man, that's really huge. And no, it's my size. I love it. Love it. So stinking cute. I really like that color too. Does it look good on me? It's gonna make me look red probably, but it's fine. Um oh I have a I have an Athena shirt on right now. As a matter of fact, I have my Stephen King shirt. Okay. Last thing I got is actually um one of my besties, Fawn, from Sanctum Stitching, she came and visited me Labor Day weekend, and she brought me a little gift. And it's a Hunt a Killer, but it's a Nancy Drew one. I am stoked. I am so excited. Um, I mean, you can play with friends. I don't know if I'm gonna. This is gonna make it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. I feel like I gotta need to set some of this stuff back over here. Just because I'm getting a little claustrophobic. I got stuff coming up on each side. Okay, so that was all haul. I know, right? Um, we're just 30 minutes in. That's not too bad. Um, I did some organization a few weeks ago, and I am still in the middle of doing it. I'm gonna have to show one picture. I got a few people um texting and messaging <laughs> right now, so hopefully. It won't go all crazy pants, and let's see if I can find it. So, um, this is a little bit of a pricey organization, so uh, heads up, warning. So, I plan on, um, I set aside a little budget that every payday, I'm going to buy two of these. I will need eight total. <laughs> so... It will take me a little bit to get this going, but it's fine because I literally had them for two weeks, which means I should have bought two more and I haven't yet. <laughs> um, but no, that's not true. I've had them for two weeks, but we get paid this Friday, so I'm supposed to be buying two this Friday. Um, I finally just set up one of them. I still haven't even set up the other one, but what I am talking about, and ignore the cat toys on the floor is these and those are my DMC in there sorry that my screen's going bananas um so yeah that those are the uh those are my DMC this is the well it skips around like it goes 1 through 30 and then it starts off with the 100 so this goes up to the 300 mark um so, yeah, um, you can fit up to 12 skeins in one of these drawers. So they lay out a little, um, let me find one if you can see a good, a good one. They don't completely go in there flat back to back. They have a slight curve in them, but I mean, it's not, it's, it's ever so slight. Um, yeah, and so what will happen is my husband will install a frame situation and those will get put on a wall somewhere so that I always have them and they're easy. And then he makes this frame thing so then you can, you can hang them on there or unhook them if I decide that it's not what I want to do. So, um, yeah, so then the other thing I did, let me go back to where because um, I know there's other things I want to show. 
um, there's a couple things in here. Okay. So then with my fancy floss, that was just for DMC. I got notebooks. And so this is classic color works. And these are baseball card, but I got the ones that have a, can you tell? Look at that. They have a little flap. So it lays over top of them so you can't, they won't slide out. So yeah. And I left spaces. I went down their chart for what colors they have and I left spaces for empty ones so that I know what to fill. And I did that for um, all of my fancy floss. So my classic color works take up two notebooks. Um, gas took three because I have way more gas. And there may be more gas colors too, I'm not sure. Um, because once I have more colors than that, it may span out. Um, and then I did my weeks. So next I need to do um, my Fiberlicious, my Forbidden Fiber Co., my uh, Ymir Silks, um, and then my uh, Night Stalker Colleen. So, yeah. I will, I will have many a notebooks and then I can like put them on a shelf. Yes, I'm not viewing them kind of like I wanted to, but I got, there's cat and cat hair, man. We, we can't, we got to have things in enclosures. <laughs> but I felt like this is the easiest way to flip through and see if I have something because they're alphabetical. So that part is cool. Um, yeah, so been working hard. Um, I think I'll get back to this after webs when I get into plans. I don't want to touch that because then it'll knock it out of there. Okay. Mm. I don't know if these, these aren't mine. I think, I think these are shop. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find a safe place. <laughs> get these patterns out the way. And I think I found it. But I had to make sure I didn't cover up shop stuff. Because that would be bad. Okay. Alright. So, I also have a BNS Black Needle Society unboxing at the end. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hey, whips. So, one of these Fridays or Saturdays or whatever night it was, um, I got to hang out with Memphis Sarah and um, Carrie from Three Trail Stitchers. And we do Labyrinth Friends. And actually, I can tell you exactly when it was. It was September 8th. Man, that was already so long ago. Um, but this is on, um, 18 count. It's volcano, volcano stitching. And it was from a smoky week, day three, which doesn't mean anything <laughs> to you guys. Cause she doesn't name it. I've got my, um, awesome needle minder that I got from Be Stitch Me. It says, get in, loser. We're doing butt stuff. It's got the aliens. And here is where I'm at. So Ludo was finished. And I did the brick um, wall. And it is filled in. I was about to say it wasn't, but those are that's gray in there. And then I started on the worms his tuft of hair and stuff, and then a scarf and his body. So, 
Yep, that's where I'm at. Is it not going to show the true color of this? <laughs> it's so bright, it doesn't look it. Yep, that's where I'm at. I'm so glad I got Ludo done. And everything else should be decent. <laughs> of course, we don't stitch on this. Um, unless we're zooming. So, okay, this project will probably be done in 2035. That's fine. Because um, we're enjoying it. We've been stitching on it for two years. <laughs> I promise you. We started it July 2nd, 2021. Is that even true? That's what I wrote down. Two years? Yeah, I mean, two years. That's crazy. Crazy. I love it. Oh, we're going to have problems. Just keep throwing it further out. All right, so I picked up my cryptids by the Witchy Stitcher. And this is on 18 count XG Design New Earth. This is not the New Earth that is currently in my shop. This was two one-offs. And hap thankfully I had one to do cryptids on and then had one to do the supernatural one on. So there's where I'm at. I did the Kraken and I did the skulls underneath him. So, I filled him in. And I gotta get this finished. You guys, it's so good. Um, so good. It's just, it's in my hot box that sits next to me so that I'll put stitches in it. And it's gonna stay there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move it out. Um, okay. So the next one is my uh, Nor Corbett. It's the Bewitching Pixies. It is Gwen, and that is her. And I did mine in a skin tone conversion. To Ymir's Almanimanim's flosses. And um, <laughs> I have to say, um, I was wanting to go darker, and I had discussed that this may be an issue because I had to do a gradient. Um, because the way, because I'm, I wasn't going to do her solid and I couldn't go. So I had to take the darkest color to use against the darkest one that it was charted for. So she is still diverse. I mean, if I hold her up next to Electra, which Electra I did do in like bone white, like she did. So she, she, she definitely, um, is darker than her, but we're going to go with that. This one is a little bit more of a Latina, which is fine. Cause I have more bewitching pixies and, um, we'll get, I'll just get all the skin tones, right? Um, she definitely is not as white as the pattern. I just was hoping that she would come out darker, but it's okay. She looks fabulous. And that dress is popping. Lord, it's popping. Um, and this fabric. I know it's Be Stitch Me, but it's Catacombs by Be Stitch Me. And this is 14 count because 14 count is just so easy with beads. <laughs> 16 was a little squishy. Um, but yeah, there she is. But, I mean, I think she's fabulous, like I said. She's a little Latina or tan. And I'm like, did I have her skin last time? Or did I just have the front? Because I feel like I've had this conversation, but I've had it with people. So I may just be... Um, but this dress, though, oh, her dress is fabulous. And I have not taken a photo of her to add to my own hashtag, 
which did I even write it down on here? No, why would I do that? Why would I write it down on the card that I see? Y'all, can we, can I get a, can I get an assistant? Did I even write it down anywhere in this book when I talked about it? No, why would I do that? <sighs> Y'all, I cannot be held accountable for what the other lady does. Because <laughs> we're getting to that point. It's, it's the other lady is what's happening here. Uh, let's see. Oh, st stitch to represent Sal. Okay. We'll pretend I'm editing this out. Because we know I'm not. Hashtag. Stitch to represent Sal. Alright. Hashtag. Stitch to represent Sal. And then however, because I have a business account, however they're messing with it now, I can't even see posts that I post. So it looks to me like, and I don't even know if anybody else has posted, but it doesn't look like there's any post um, when I go in there and look at it. Um, so I don't know what they're doing with the business thing. It's weird. It's like I can only, and I think it's because some people's had to start, do, stop doing giveaway things because you can't see everything. You only see like the most um, relevant or the most liked or I don't, I don't know what they're doing, but they've messed that up. So, yeah. Okay, so I am part of a challenge group that is playing Candyland. And um, this pattern was on my board for if I landed on a candy piece. And it is Baba Yaga by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is also on Catacombs. Yep, but 18 count. So the candy cards, when you land on a candy piece or you draw the candy card, it's a thousand stitches and you have to complete those thousand stitches to go to that candy. Now I will say the game that involved this, um, I won. So that's nice. Um, yeah. So I pulled a chocolate ice cream cone <laughs> and that piece was the Baba Yaga piece. Well, after and I, I got my thousand stitches and then we had to reshuffle the deck because we had ran out of cards, which means all the candy cards are back on the playing table. So the next card, the next, the Wednesday, that was a Sunday that I, that I had the um, candy card. And then on Wednesday, I think I got like a green. So it was like one step, moved up one. Um, the next, the following Sunday, I got the ice cream cone again. So not only is it rare to get the candy cards, but then to get the same one within a week it was brutal. <laughs> um, can't make this up, but what it did was get me a really nice chunk of house done for my Baba Yaga. And it looks fabulous. And I am loving stitching on it. I did not mind putting in 2,000 stitches on this thing. And it looks so stinking good. I mean, just the nail, you know, the nails on the boards. I mean, and I gotta get the scalloped design in there, but man. So it's still a very small, <laughs> very small part <laughs> of the pattern, but it's a dense part. Like we got a lot of open area. 
over in here, right? So I, I got a very dense part in. So yeah, I guess technically I go all the way down to the window. I'm at the bottom of the window. Which window? Nope, yep, I got that window too. So um, it's this hole minus those. So yeah, it's not, and I'm not to the door yet. It's not bad. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was very comical when she drew that. I was like, how in the hell do I have Baba Yaga again? Because we reshuffled. Okay, so my next two are new starts. Um, and I had it on my list. And I think one of them, uh, Scary Sampler was because I finished Freedom. I already had it on the list. Um, yeah. So this one is because I had the witchy stitcher um I had plans that her sal which um she's not going to do due to uh what's going on with her health um so she's not I mean she'll do one it just won't be this year so um or if it is it'll be late in the year so I took that slot that I had saved for new starts I'm still doing no new starts and we are I think it's supposed to be September 30th, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be ready for that, Athena, Beth. Um, we're doing the um, Heart Anger, and I don't think I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, but my pattern is this one, and I wanted to get all the cross stitching done so that actually on September 30th, I could start doing the specialty stitches and, and the cutting, um, which is probably not going to happen because there's a lot of, a lot of stuff this weekend. So, um, not to mention I have some mixed media that I need to do. Um, and that will have to be, oh yeah, remember that big announcement <laughs> for my shop that I said was probably premature. It wasn't about the sale. Um, I know that's what I rolled into, because it reminded me that I do have an announcement that I do need to make. You guys. Oh, I can't make up this brain. It is man. The big announcement is because now that I've said mixed media. Um, I am trying to get a wholesale account with Ranger Inc. And Prima. And if you know what either of those things mean, then you know. Um, so Ranger Inc. Um, is who Tim Holtz makes all the Tim Holtz stuff. Um, and I, you know, 123 Stitch has a whole thing about paper crafts in there. You can get die cuts and all kinds of stuff. So I thought, you know, because I'm trying to dwindle the patterns a little bit. And I thought it would be nice just to mix up a little bit about what I offer. Um, because I'm going to start showing some stuff. And I want to be able to help people if they're like, oh my gosh, I love that. How do you do it? I want to be like, okay, you can get this, this, this. I've got it in my shop. I can help. Whatever. But I have some. So Prima, what they oh, what they do is they have the Finnabar. Um, and I don't know her name. I cannot think of her name off the top of my head. But she is a designer. And, um, like, so these are some stamps. So these are just background. This is like something that you would just stamp on a card. These are clear. They're just words. They just happen to be tiny stamps that I have sitting here. But, why do I have those there? That's another one. Um, but the main thing, oh my gosh, now I can't get them back. <laughs> this is why you should never read for stuff. Okay. Um, she also has, oh, I put it in a box over there, molds to where you can do um, paper clay. And um, choir practice has started. Yep, 630 on the dot. Oh, they kill me. 
kill me with that. It's so crazy. And we're at an hour too. And I've still got stuff to talk about. Okay, they're fine. They don't go out till 7, 7.30. So we're good. We have another 30 minutes. At least. So, that was the thing. Is I'm maybe offering some things other than, than cross-stitch. Branching out just a little bit to other uh, crafting areas. Um, okay, back to this. Heart anger. So, I don't have... And this is called Snails and Flowers by uh, Doreen Jones. And I have some of it done. But I got a lot more to do. Um, in comparison. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But a lot of that's specialty stuff. It's fine. Um, I've jacked up over here on the big flower. It's fine. It'll work out. Um, it was a little weird and odd for me because... I just thought heart anger because most of it's 22 count. And so I bought 22 count, but she's doing this on 28 count. And everything was over two. So now when you got 22 count and you're doing it over two, it's huge. Um, my stitches are huge, but they're kind of cute. They're very primitive looking. So, I mean, to be honest with you, they actually look really good <laughs> compared to my normal. Um, but yeah, so this is just a piece of um, heart anger. 22 count even weave called water gray they are just howling at the storm like these hound dogs i'm sorry if you can hear that they're no they're not underneath me they're behind that wall drop down um because we have 16 foot ceilings in our bedroom or whatever so on the other side of this wall is ceiling, open air, and they are on the ground. So anyways, so this is part of my September 30th <laughs> thing. Um, and then on September 1st for Sampler September, um, me, there's a hashtag for this too, and I guarantee I didn't write it on my thing. I did not. And I think we even talked about this. That I didn't write it on my thing. Um, I think it's scary. I don't know. I'm not going to. I need to get the hashtag. And I meant to write it down. Because we had a Zoom. Friday night. That was. Uh, Memphis Sarah. Memphis E. Sarah. Is that what it is? Sarah. <laughs> I just call you Memphis Sarah. You're literally in my phone. Memphis Sarah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's just terrible. Um, cause I do know your last name. <laughs> um, so Memphis Sarah and then, uh, Jackie and Justine from X's and Hoes and Fawn from Sanctum Stitching. We all started the scary sampler and Fawn actually made hers. Cause she did it. These flowers look a little pink, like the Demi Gorgon, right? But the colors, when you pull them, they're not pink. So I went with the colors, and I'm, I'll be honest, I am not sure about my color choices with um, my fabric. Like, my fabric's gorgeous. I don't think it works with these colors. Um, but we in it to win it now, because I got too many stitches in. We're just going to keep plugging on, and we're going to pretend that they work harmony, like in harmony. Perfect, right? But, here's where I'm at. <laughs> um, it doesn't look <laughs> as bad through the camera. Um, I think I'm being a little hard on myself. It's just, y'all, that rust color should not be on top of purple. And it's cayenne is the color. Um, but, man, this fabric's gorgeous. <laughs> just not really filling these colors on it. But again, that color is nowhere else but the border. Everything else is going to look fabtabulous on this fabric. So I'll get over the flowers. It's fine. Because, I mean, this is gorgeous. It is um, At the Pond by Bestitch Me. So that was for our September. We started at September 1st. Um, Fawn had already started hers. Um, but she pulled it back out. 
So, so that was a new start for me, September 1st. All right, so done with new starts um, and whips. Now I got plans. All right, October 1st. There are multiple people doing this. I know it's Memphis Sarah. <laughs> she always gets me stitching shit. Um, I've actually already started this. So I am just going to continue on. Um, put more stitches in. It's a volcano stitching fabric, so it doesn't have a a name. But, like, that's all I got. It's a corner. So, this was one of those that I hurried up and started at the end of last year. Because I knew I'd want to work on it. And I knew I was doing no new starts. So, it was a cheater pattern. Right? Oh, these dogs. Okay. So, lots of plans. So, October 1st, everybody is... Going on and supporting Witchy Stitcher, um, going to her website, buying PDF patterns. Um, because if we buy physical, like that puts us, it puts a um, hardship on packing um, for her and her family that's helping her. But PDFs are instant and um, it's just a way of showing we love you, we support you. Um, and then hands down, she is one of my favorite designers. So I really... Um, definitely want to um support her so october 1st um pdfs um witchy stitcher also um, from her etsy or her website yes can i help you little creepers put his hands on my butt um so also october 1st i am going to get to have lunch with um melissa from shiva designs who makes, and of course I have Shiba Design bags. I just tossed over there. I, now I can't reach them to pull them up, but she makes project bags. Um, it's one of my favorite project bag makers. Um, I have about, I got like three or four that I really like. And um, poor Lynn is the only one that's in the US. Everybody else is, is Canadian. So I love those Canadian bag makers. <laughs> so um, you feeling in for ski today? I'm just gonna no let's not let's not say we did why is your hair standing up <laughs> what are you doing anyways um so i'm gonna have lunch with her so that is super fun and super exciting he's gonna wear me out and um also for okay honey i love you i do and you were in my lap today which was so sweet let's not show booty hole though <laughs> Um, so we have Sha uh, Fawn's birthday coming up. And so I, we picked a chart that we wanted to start me, her and Z about what we wanted to start for her, um, birthday. And I, okay. Why are we, why are we needy? Do we know why we're needy? Are you okay? Do you not feel good? And it had a small as part of it. So, I am going to do this one, and so it will, I've got to finish my current, oh, that's what's not in here. I'm missing a whole bag. Where did it go? I'm missing a whole bag. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, I may have to, I may have to put these, <laughs> splice. Okay, so, I'm sorry that it's like trying to but anyways that's the small that I'm gonna do and that way it can go in my stitchy notebook um but I gotta finish my current stitchy one and I don't know exactly when we're starting if we're starting on her birthday um or not how did I miss a bag oh no okay um I'm going to get up and get it, but then that means I got to fast forward and cut it out. Her. Hold. Hold, please. Arlo, we missed a bag, buddy. I missed two projects. Two whips. Let me start off with, so the thing about the Paul one um, is... It will go good. When did I finish this? 
Now everything's just falling apart. Okay. When did I finish this? So I finished this after my floss tube. So here are some finishes <laughs> for my stitchy <laughs> journal. <laughs> and that was the Adopt a Ghost. It's the cat by um, Mama Witch X Stitch. Or... So how cute is that? It's huge, which is why I bought the other black, because this is 14 count. I bought the 18 count black so that I could make them smaller than that. And then, so that got me a new start on my Quaker Ghost. So there's my Quaker Ghost. He's so cute. And then I finished him. So then that got me a start. Nope, wrong one. On. I apologize for them, y'all. On the skeleton. And so he is right there. Now, I did goof and I started this. This is 20 count. I did it two strands. I really needed to do it one. And I was like, that's okay. I'll do this one two strands. When I start the next one, I'll do it one. I didn't. <laughs> I totally forgot. I did it like I always do. So it's also two strands, but that's okay. Um, so then I need to hurry up and finish him. So that'll be a work. That'll be work stitching. So he sat on my paper <laughs> so I can start this guy. Uh, this will be stitched at some point because I mean, how can you not? It's Paul reading. Um, but that's the small that I'll do for her birthday start so that I can keep with my no new starts and still celebrate um, Fawn in the process. So that's the plan. So I got to hurry up and get him stitched because, well, first of all, I need to confirm when we're starting because I'm not going to break my neck if I don't have to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the skeleton one. Okay, so I know I interrupted plans for back to whips. Um, so all day, I've been working on a whip I just forgot about. <laughs> Ink circles, get cracking. I am not doing what I call this bookmark edge. Um, I don't really think it adds to the pattern and there's definitely no sea monsters in it. And that's the whole point of this for me is the sea monsters, the Kraken. So I'm not stitching this border and I'm not stitching this. So mine will look like that. So I am across the whole pattern when you see mine. Um, I did one change. The Krakens are charted in this color which is like a dusty rose. Um, I prefer my Kraken's green. I mean, I don't know. Um, traditionalist a little bit. So what I did was I went through my um, kaleidoscope collection from Forbidden Fiber Co. And I found this lovely, luscious bunch. And so this is what I used. And here is where we're at. So I got one leg in there. <laughs> Part of a leg. Um, let me fold this a little bit. There we go. So I got a leg in there. And uh, I'll continue on. I absolutely love stitching on this. So I, last week, oh, there went the bag. <laughs> last weekend, I did this. And this weekend, actually, I think I finished this this weekend. And then did everything else this weekend. So yeah. I love it. So much. Um, I dropped the bag. And I feel like this is like the perfect conversion substitution for a Kraken. I did not want to put this down. Um, but
but I have to because you guys haven't seen me in a month. <laughs> Uh, it was a lot of willpower to put this away, and that's why I got left in there, um, and then start filming. Okay, at an hour and seven. Not terrible. Um, so for my little sticky notebook, I did buy this. It's a little bee baby sewing machine, but we'll do um, zigzag stitches and stuff so I can do some little decorative stitches on them and stitch them on the pages and all that kind of stuff. Um, my sewing machine is a big giant Singer One where it looks like the old school one, but like it's all digital and it's a pain to, because currently the desk that it was on, the table that it was on, that was my sewing table, is now my diamond painting table. So the um, sewing machine is on the floor. So this, I think will be a lot easier to set up and move to the side and stuff. So we will see. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see. Okay. Before I open this black needle box. Ooh. That box is dirty. Um, I do want to say that we went to um, Chattanooga for our anniversary. Our anniversary was the 13th, and we went on the 15th of September. And we took Gus with us. And... Um, I have to say, Gus had an amazing time. Um, he had so much fun. And I will put a couple videos. Um, I'll put a couple videos down. We went into the lodge store. And, like, they let dogs in there. So, Gus was in there shopping with us. And everybody had to, like... Everybody had to pet the corgi. <laughs> so, um, but I got some videos. Um, it was a super bougie hotel. It was like really, really nice. Like that was our room. That was the bathroom. The shower. Um, these are the hallways. So cool. And that's outside the elevator. And it's all done in very, like, great Gatsby type. Um, these are all pictures, so. Like, they still have telephone booths, <laughs> which is super cute. Um, I mean, it's just super, super cool. This is the room before you go into the um, indoor pool area. And it's like this really plush AstroTurf <laughs> stuff that's amazing. And they had a waterfall on the pool. We did not swim. And that's one of the banquet rooms. And I mean, it just, everywhere was just places to kind of sit and hide. Um, this is their silver ballroom. And I did a video, my husband flips me off at the end, so I'm not gonna tag it on here. But yeah, I mean, super fancy. That's from the upper level looking down. Um, felt a little out of place. <laughs> But it's haunted. So, that being said, <laughs> let me get to it. I, on the um, room 311, was a woman that was murdered there. And it is super haunted. And they... Um, it's the only room that doesn't have electronic locks and stuff. Like, you still have to use a key. And they've kept the door looking, like, super rustic, which I love. And so, you actually have to have a key to get in this room versus a key card. Um, so, yeah. I love it that they did that. Um, we had a <laughs> super fancy, super fancy meal. Um, it was so good. Um, I got the burger. He got a giant steak, but so yummy. And we got creme brulee and it was a good tap, tap, tap. So, but we went to Rock City and that's the couple of videos I'll plug at the end is at Rock City. But these boys, when we got back, were tuckered out completely. <laughs> and this is when I got my stitching in. So, um, we had a blast, but the hotel's the Reed House. Um, it's been on that property since eight, early 1800s in some form or fashion. So, um, yeah, it was really cool. 
Um, I had on here to talk about Legos, but I, I haven't gotten much done. I got a few photos, but oh, I'll talk about that next time. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to briefly, very quickly do this box. It is the one of Once Upon a Stitch. Yep. Once Upon a Stitch box. Um, so very quickly, Poison Apple smells so good. Um, this is the exclusive pens. They're very Beauty and the Beast. And then our needle minder. Um, like this box so far is like one of my faves. We've got the pumpkin carriage. Those dogs. And then we've got a once upon a time, a little notebook. And I love it. And then we got Enchanted Forest by Forbidden Fiber Co. It's a gorgeous color. And the floss. I'm sorry I'm rushing, but now I've got to be able to get this going and then take them outside. We got these beautiful colors, and this is hand-dyed by Rolanda. Beautiful. Now that I gotta edit. <laughs> and then we got a, I guess this is black. We were talking, I thought it was navy blue, but I guess it's a blue, a blue black. But it's a star. So, Wish Upon a Star. And then, a blanket, which I haven't opened yet. Um, but it's a little red riding hood. And I don't have scissors. But how awesome. And I love that they did a great job folding it so that you can see it was a little red riding hood. But this is like one of my favorite. I love their blankets. Um, I've got one behind me here. I have one in my other stitch spot. Um, so this one will go over my diamond pinion slot. And then here is the pattern. It's the frog prints by the Primitive Hair. So, yeah. So that was a really good box. Very happy with it. Very pleased um, to get everything out of it at a later date. Postman. You got dirty. Alrighty. Whew, that was everything. Um, I will tag a couple videos of Gus Busters at the end of this while we were at our anniversary trip. Uh, the boys stayed with Charlie, um, which is Reba's dad. So, um, we, they have two puppies left. They have decided that they are going to let little Jimmy go if uh, somebody wants them. So they do have two puppies left, two boys, obviously, because there was nine and eight boys. <laughs> so we got two boys left. Um, so yeah, so my boys got to go hang out um, over there and Gus came with us. Skeeter went to my parents' house. Um, Skeeter doesn't do good with people. So he basically, for the first day, was completely shut down and just like in this tiny little ball and like, nothing so finally my mom and my dad were giving me these really cute updates and they're like oh he finally let us pet him and because <laughs> he's still in his little his little thing so I didn't feel comfortable leaving him here for two nights because if he dip, tipped over his water bowl there he didn't have water there he is you know um here we have multiple water bowls out so Arlo was fine that may be why he's really lovey because last weekend he was by himself all weekend, all weekend long um and that's never happened. He's never been an only cat. So um, he was by himself all weekend, but like we left a faucet dripping. So like he's got, you know, if something happens to one of his water bowls, he has many other choices. Um, and also Skeeter, I don't think would ration his food. He's a chonker. So I had to make sure that I had somebody who could feed him twice a day and give him treats in between and make sure his, his water was uh, super fresh, super cold. We do ice cubes still, even though he doesn't have his cast on because he seems to really like that really cold water. <laughs> so um, that is it for me. Um, I will be back probably before I go to sweat the weather because it is at the end of October. So I will probably be a few days before I go there. I will um, show you what I've done in the meantime. So I hope everybody has a wonderful um, end of September and first part of October. I know I will. It's my favorite season. So, um, yeah, until next time. Bye.
We are sissies and we are taking the stone bridge. We are not doing that. I mean the dog, come on. He'd have to carry that. No, thank you. Say, look at that booty, look at that booty, look at that booty, look at that booty, look at that booty. Booty. Oh, he's got a fox, cause he's a good boy. So he got him a fox. Guys, you get you a fox. You get you a fox. <laughs> Don't do nothing mean to that fox.